Horrible. And it was controversial. You said on your Twitter page, 10 years of Ronnie and Roxy Mitchell, my heart is breaking watching this when it went out. The Sun apparently said that Barbara Windsor was quoted as saying it wasn't the girl's choice. Mm -hmm. It's the new producer, Sean O'Connor's decision. I'm sure he'll, uh, sh he'll be uh, good for the show. But that was a mistake <coughs> when I heard I was shocked. And then, uh, and then you said on your Twitter page, I'm sorry I can't respond to any comments. I'm honestly broken. An appropriate end to the darkest year ever. Bless you for looking at my Twitter page. <laughs> Always do. Are you all right? I'm there with you every morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you know, it, it, these things happen, but nevertheless, it doesn't make it any less painful when you say it's, goodbye to a character and no, friends that you love. No, it's not. I mean, nine years, that person's really close to you, the character, I mean, and the family's really close to you. So having to say goodbye to everyone's really, really hard. Mm. So, so the best way is to just like launch into a new job and then because also you've got yeah. you, like rita proper proper sisters almost, i speak to rita about six times a day i mean yeah. I, you can't you can't give up something like that yeah. you know we, we were together for such a long time and uh, she feels like my sister still, so I'm grateful actually to have come away. That you've with come that. away with I've such come away a with, brilliant like, the most friendship. amazing friend ever. And I guess the thing is, you know, for, for those uh, iconic characters, really, as those two, really put them in the back of a cab to Onga yes. would never have really have worked. Like in I a way, have wanted it's... to end up in Onga. No offence with people of Onga, but you know. They, they, it was a real final. There was definitely no going back. I mean, that's it. It is a clean break, isn't it? You yeah. could have been sitting there thinking, well, do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? And now now that was maybe forced upon you, yeah. it does mean you're cut loose to go and do other things. And, yeah. and exciting stuff. Really what exciting you're doing stuff. now, I think, to me, sounds like it scared you a bit. It's terrifying because it's so good. And you really, really want to do it kind of justice. Mm. So tell us what it is. So we're doing The Addams Family. It's the UK premiere. It was done in New York with um, Nathan Lane and Baby Neweth, right. or Bibi Neweth. And um, it's just a really, really cool production. Andrew Lipper, who did the music and lyrics, has come over from America, so he's working with us at the moment. And it's just a super smart, super dark Mm -hmm. Back to the, the really the cartoon type of stuff, isn't it? I mean, it's the, 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 the when it was written down a bit yeah. dark, a bit more original. Yeah. So Charles Adams, who devised the characters, started off with a kind of cartoon in the New Yorker, and that was then developed into a TV show for the '60s. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had the um, the huge Hollywood film. So it's yeah. been something that people have known about for for years. But it's quite nice that, yeah, we're going back to that kind of slightly darker time. time. And the most exciting bit, I mean, you are Morticia, is the costume for me. Have you seen, have you, I mean, at your early rehearsals at the moment, so yeah. have you seen drawings of what you're going to wear? You so the original, what was lovely was the original um, illustrations had the bottom of her dress were like almost like roots that went into the floor. she grew so she out would, of the ground. She grew out of the ground, so she would float. So I'm trying to kind of do little geisha sets. We're trying to find a way of getting her to move. But I'm dancing so, much more than I thought I would. She's tangoing the, the love affair with her and Gomez is really really strong they're just at it all the time well I'm, go <laughs> I'm going to uh, <laughs> tangoing I mean I'm going oh, to I'm going to say what you said when you uh, when you walked in and said that when you you know, you're really looking forward to it it is an amazing production but you did think that you might have done a little bit more Ooh, and yeah. that would have been it it's such a complex piece yeah musically it's so beautiful um, and the the book uh, was written by um, Marshall Brickman and Rick Ellis. So Marshall Brickman was um, the screenwriter for well, he collaborated with Woody Allen mm -hmm. on oh, okay. Annie Hall and Manhattan. So we've got this incredible text. I love musical theatre. So yeah. Keep going back to it. This is she's tricky because you've got to try and find her voice. I keep going very Eastern European. I keep taking her to like Transylvania or something. <laughs> like no no because in this version she lives in Central Park. Ah. The castle in Central Park. Mm. So I have to look the uh, luz, the luz, which I do a lot. But it's quite hard finding her voice vocally because you want her to sing like she speaks. Yeah. You don't want her to be too razzmatazz. So we're like we're trying to find all so that at the moment. Well, yeah. you've got four more weeks of rehearsals. Four more weeks, yeah. Oh, you'll get there. Yeah, I'm excited. And you say that your uh, your children are your biggest critics. It's Ben, uh, ben who's 17 and Lily Rose who's 12. Yes. Have they seen anything of it yet? No, Lily's coming in because she breaks up um, at the end of the next week, so she's got the last two weeks of rehearsal with me. But they are brutally so honest she... with you, aren't they? Oh, Ben is. I will never ask Ben unless I want to be heartbroken <laughs> what I look like in an outfit. He's just... I think I said to him the other day, the day before rehearsals, I asked him what I looked like, and he said, you look really good, but your arms look a little bit like sausages. <gasps> perfect, perfect. That's what you want. Don't that. ask a 16-year-old. No, exactly. Adam's Family opens 20th of April in Edinburgh and finishes in Dartford on the 4th of November. Thank you and very enjoy much. It. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.